Good morning. Super Secret Bricks here to review all the power minus sets from the first wave. Today we're having a look at the set 8707 Boulder Blaster, uh, released in 2009. It has 280 parts as well as two characters. Our first character is Rex, which re you remember is the uh, the bomb man with the metal plates uh, glued on his head. In this set, he doesn't come with the uh, uh, the helmet, which is weird. The the blue helmet, you know. He comes with a bob, which is nice. I like it, but oh my god, is that? We can see the we can see the second face on the on the back of the head. What is what were they thinking? And it's not the, the first instant instance of uh, of uh, weird stuff happening in that set. So first of all, we have a glacier here, which is uh, quite nice. But he comes in the set with trans dark blue crystals, which is well, it, it's right. It's the right thing to do to to be right, but. On some pictures of the of the set, I think it's the box art or something. It has trans red uh, parts for some reason. So ah, uh, and yeah, again. Uh, so it, it looks like um, a snow plower, plower right? Uh, but there's a big gaping hole here. So I don't know if it's really efficient against against the crystal because you you see you want to push them to, to the side, but then they're going to get stuck in the middle. Or worse, they're going to just pop in the middle. Uh, another thing I don't like about this set is we got a shovel and a pickaxe as um, as um, accessories. But yeah, you have to stick them in the crate like this. There's no clip anywhere. Where are the clips? I like my clips to to put to put my. Uh, uh, minifig accessories. Um, if I didn't stick them in the in the hole that the crate has, they would be uh, just uh, loose in there, and, and I would lose them. That's what would happen. Um, there are some positives about this set, though. Uh, apart from the fact that it keeps breaking on me, uh, that's not a positive by the way. Uh, one of the positive is it looks it looks cool. I think it looks quite industrial. Um, really like that. It did keep the, the roll cage, so at least we have that. We have the damier design, uh, where, where we alternate lime and black and lime, like here. And by the way, this, when I first started building, uh, when you build it, you don't have all this, right? You just have this. It looks like you're building a bed. Like, I, was, I was wondering, why is there a bed? Why is there a bed on the engine? Is that where Rex is going to sleep? No, I don't know. It's it's just some uh, texture. Um, on the engine, we have this weird rubbery part, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's there. It provides some uh, uh, cable detail. It's just that it keeps breaking, and and also this exhaust little build keeps breaking. In any case, let's look at the orangey bits. So we we got orange right there. Um, it is finger locked here. I don't think it's supposed to be a feature. I think it's just uh, to uh, a way to uh, to uh, attach them. Uh, but yeah, if you want to, you can put them up and down. I think it, would, it works best like this, like a bulldozer. But yeah, uh, so you got this as a feature, and then we have orangey bits here, which means we have a feature there. Let's uh, let's give it a try. It's actually quite a cool feature. So it's not it's not a great set. Uh, by all means, uh, I think it can qualify as a good one, but like the the downside just make it a bit me. But yeah, this feature though is quite nice. So we have uh, a wheel right here that we can actionate, oh. and when you do, you see this little uh, uh, beam, Technic beam, is going to move. Uh, we got we got some mechanism inside. Yeah, I'm not gonna show you the mechanism. Uh, go check the individual uh, review video where I can I show everything. And so what what it does is it's it gets back 
And because there's an elastic band right here, it's going to wa want to spring back in position. And yeah, you can see these are sitting loose, which is a bit annoying because then they keep, uh, they keep falling. But what happens is it's going to spring them, shoot them. Okay, now I need to find them. Okay, so they were quite easy to find just because uh, it doesn't shoot far, too far. But on the other hand, it's not supposed to be a, some sort of uh, rocket launcher or anything. It's, it's, it's quite simple. So we're going to try again. And I'm going to try to demonstrate how far it goes. Hopefully, uh, as far as here, I don't think it's going to go much further. But let, let's give it a try. Okay. Whoop. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, actually, um, this is quite fun. And I think it redeems completely the, the set. Uh, this is what redeems the set and uh, brings it to the middle um, middle uh, of the ranking. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the feature works and it's quite fun. It doesn't flung them too far, but on the other hand, um, those are bombs anyway, so when they land, they're going to do some damage, so it doesn't matter. Um, and yeah, they work much better than the flick fire missile, or so I find. And yeah, oh yeah, I uh, forgot to, to mention. So what's really, really awesome about this is you can you can uh, build up your, your own, right? And and yeah, and, uh, and add uh, as many as you want, like reload and stuff like this you can uh, you can even make your own kind of ammunition it is not too not too hard not too hard and uh, yeah once it's done uh, so this beam is just sitting loosely right uh, it's a bit annoying because it keeps falling but once you you fired them all it's not gonna fall much further because it, it has a pin here that stops it uh, from uh, from falling so yeah yeah uh, the bill itself it looks okay overall, looks okay, uh, quite flimsy, there are some inconsistencies with the with the rest of the vehicles, but the feature is so nice, so yeah.